today guys, 3Ts here back again with another video. So guys, for any, firstly for any new viewers, um, a very big warm welcome to the channel guys. I really do appreciate the company and the time um, you've taken to uh, drop in. I hope you really do en enjoy the video. Um, for any of my regular viewers guys, I hope you've all been keeping well as well. Um, it has been a while since my last full proper video. I've, I've done a lot of PSAs because there's been a few cool tiger coins coming out. But guys, I hope you've been um, doing alright. Just been a little being a little hectic with the end of the year, the countdown and everything. Sydney right now is the 31st, so you know it is very much a new year countdown right now. I know it'll be slightly different from which part of the world you may be watching from, but as you get to that point, guys, um, you know, I wish everyone a very big and warm, happy new year. Um hopefully 2022 will be just a sprinkle better than it was this year. Um I guess that's what we can all we really can hope for right now, just being a tad more optimistic. So guys, just a really quick one today. Um, just catching up with some bits and pieces that I got a bit earlier that I didn't quite get around to sharing as well. Bit of silver and a bit of collectibles today. So I'm gonna start with the silver. So got this from Swan Bullion, um, maybe a month or so ago. It's been a while. For those who don't know, Swan Bullion is a pretty cool place um, based Bullion dealer based in um, Perth in Western Australia. Um, I've done quite a few videos. I get a lot of my stuff from the really reliable, pretty cool prices, and quite regularly they get some really nice stuff. Actually, super stoked to be able to sh um, share this with you guys. So, it's a Swiss ten ounce fine silver bar, really beautiful. So, ten ounce for me is the goal. Like I've been trying to stick to it, but I do sidetrack when I see interesting new one ounce coins or other things, but. 10 ounce just from a slightly saving the premiums perspective um, and just long term storing when you have a lot of one ounce coins I think a lot of other stackers will agree it does get a little crazy to start storing it safely and efficiently so 10 ounce just makes that a lot more efficient it's just easier to put it in boxes or storage rooms or wherever you, you know you guys do your thing it's a very simple but beautiful um, bar Obviously, Pansui is very renowned for their designs. Um, I did a Tiger one. They released some Tiger um, one ounce bars a while back. Still haven't been able to see the silver ones, but you know, Pamp just really do nail it when it comes to designs. So overall, very simple but beautiful. I was so happy to be able to finally get my hands on this. Slight premium compared to the other ten ounce ones, but you know, with Australia, anything imported. It's generally going to fetch a slight premium, but long term worth it. So there it is, guys. The Pam Suisse. Beautiful. Hopefully, in 2022, I can really commit to the 10 ounce stack and progressively build this up a lot more as well. Can't believe it's already been a year as well, guys, since I've started stacking. It's just been an incredible journey. Um, for any new stackers, you know, um, my best advice would be this community on YouTube is phenomenal. I've learned so much about stacking, investing in precious metals. Um, you know, I've, I've my perception towards a lot of things have changed, particularly fractional gold and investing in the fractional stuff. Um, and I think it's quite cool, you know, the way other people all around the world see things and, you know, their views and experiences. There's a lot of veterans on YouTube as well um and i just really recommend for anyone new to it check them out take the time research check it out you know get a lot of shared views i mean we all have slightly different circumstances you know whether it be from a um, income perspective how much we can actually put aside to invest so figure out what works for you um but there's so much available on youtube in this community and the last 12 months has been amazing for me i think i've really have um learned an incredible amount so i'm really looking forward to 2022 and i hope to be personally a little bit more active as well with uploads and everything so yeah, guys that's the last bit of um silver um or precious metals in general that i'll be sharing for 2021 now just a slightly other more <clears throat> it is also a hobby but more of a collectible sort of thing as well and i have done a few more videos been having fun with some youtube shorts is collectible trading cards. Trying hard here just to avoid. So 
I got this from eBay and the seller has done a pretty sweet job packaging this really nicely. So I'm gonna leave a pretty sweet review because I really do appreciate when sellers for anything go the distance and make those small little details just of sending parcels and all that a lot more better. So guys, another slab that I have been starting to slowly invest a little bit and um, collect is Pokemon cards. Now, I've done a few videos on Pokemon cards. Obviously, Pokemon is such a OG thing. Um, it goes way back. If you look at guys like Logan Paul these days, he's made a few headlines, as he does. Um, you know, he invested like $3.5 million on a box of unopened first edition cards. These, however... Um, are the celebration ones. So it was this year marked 25 years since Pokemon sort of, um, you know, done its thing and, you know, sort of swept across the world, you know, this huge phase that's just been pretty strong over 25 years, which is incredible. So obviously with trading cards as well, I guess at the end of the day, the grading goes from one to 10, 10 being the highest. And when you have anything on 10, the value of it really does sort of um, exponentially increase at that point. So this is a, Mint 9, which is pretty good. Um, there's like 9, 9.5, and 10. Hard to get the 10s, and even if they're available, they're actually quite pricey. Um, so I don't know. If I ever do have that much spare money that I'm not willing to put into shares, crypto, or um, the shiny stuff, I might maybe invest in it. So this is Venusaur, um, one of the sort of original three Pokemon. Like It's like the final evolution kind of thing. Pretty cool guy. But my plan of Pokemon cards is really a very, very long-term investment. As we get more and more digital, you know, talks of metaverse and all that kind of stuff, who really knows how that's going to end up? Figure one day down the track, you know, these old school things that you can actually hold, feel, look at from a collectible and sort of like gaming perspective. I, I feel like, you know, 25 years down the track more, who knows what the value for these will be at that point. So as I have a little bit of money spare, um, just being in lockdown for so long, I actually have a lot of spare money, but decided to put a bit more money into um, some cards, just a bit of fun as well. So that's Venusaur. Now this is actually the OG sort of, um, the holy grail of Pokemon cards, the Charizard. Again, this is a Mint 9, um, and they base it on the you know, centering surface corners and edges. Again, if you get 10, this fetches a lot. So this is from the 2016 pack. If you were one of the smart lucky people who didn't really play with their original cards um, back like 25 years ago. These Charizards, if you have a PSA 10, go for literally thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, even higher than that, which is ridiculous. But you know, who would have known that a piece of paper 25 years later would be worth a phenomenal amount of money? So you know, we'll see how things happen. Maybe in like another 10, 20 years, see how it goes, what kind of value this generates or not. A bit of fun either way. And, you know, if it doesn't really hit the mark in terms of money that I think might have, you know, um, got from it, there is also really well-established, um, you know, Pokemon, like, trading card collectible community on throughout various social platforms. And maybe, you know, one of my treasures will become someone else's. Who knows what the future holds at this point. But I just want to share a few different slabs. I've actually got a couple more on the way. Um, I don't know when they're actually going to arrive, but... Yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Or um, well, that's it for this year, guys. You know, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Let me know your thoughts um, on the new year. You know, if you guys have a strategy in place for stacking or for anything else, maybe, you know, if anyone's got back into collectibles as well, like I have, what your plans are. I'm still sort of thinking about what my 2022 overall investing strategy is going to be across the board, you know, across metals, shares, crypto, everything. I'm just not so sure yet. Um, and I think it's just been such a turbulent year that it's hard to sort of just, you know, figure out exactly what's going to happen because, you know, every day is just something new could happen. It's just, I guess we're just living in that kind of point. But yeah, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts um, just about plans, 
New Year plans, about stacking, investing, and anything else that you just might want to chat with, guys. Anyways, um, thanks again. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, please do leave a like, a subscribe, um, and a comment just to stay connected. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to catch you all into the new year. Jeez, guys, three Ts.